Hi Kyle, um, this week you challenged me to write a short story under 500 words. Okay, so before I start I'm going to confess it's not a short story. It's the beginning of my zombie novella. We both know everybody goes through that period. Your challenge kicked started mine. Congratulations to you. I think back in 2094 when scientists were trying to figure out figure out a way to make us humans invincible. They succeeded. They were able to survive survive pretty much everything thrown at them. And after they were given the injection, their aging sl aging slowed until they just stopped aging altogether. They figured out a cure to the human humankind's biggest weakness, or what they thought. Ten years into the project, something started to happen. The ultimate humans started to deteriorate, and they were starting to come, become more and more animal-like. Until eventually, one day, an entire team of scientists were killed. Found a group of zombies sitting in the corner, eating the brains of the scientists. As long as the human brains do, they don't eat any brain. They were told it's got something to do with the chemicals that are in the brain, or something like that. You can't have to ask my twin brother. He understands it more than I do. I just kill the damn things. And now seems like the appropriate time to introduce myself. I'm Bailey, private first class in squad NY00. My brother Max is also in the same squad and ranking as myself. And this is the zombie world that we live in. Transfer to the now present time. It was dark outside. And that you're stunk with death, which is what you which is what you'd expect since zombies don't know how to clean up after themselves. But nevertheless, Max and I ignored the smell and continued walking down, walking about the place up and down alleyways, hoping that we wouldn't run into any zombies. Well, actually, Max was hoping we didn't run in run into any. I wanted them to find us. I wanted to kill the bloody things. A few streetlights that. We'd managed to get up with flickering on and off, as well as giving off this mono monotone buzzing sound. It was then that I heard the faint sound of scuffling. I turned to face Max, the moonlight making him look even more pale. Now he'd taken a few steps back now. Now he was standing behind me. He'd heard it as well. I walked forward quietly with the gun at the ready, to kill as many as I could. I looked behind me to see what Max was doing. He was following me. But he did have his hand on his head looking at me as if to ask, what the hell are you doing? I just ignored him and then carried on towards them. So, this bit, um, the way I'm reading it, because I'm the worst reader in the world, is going to sound very anticlimactic. Yeah, this is going to sound really boring. Anticlimactic. It's your fault. Can you make me read it out loud? I kept walking and then um, I couldn't move, it completely froze up. I didn't want to turn around but I had to slowly turn my head to the side, not wanting to see anything, but I did. And when I saw it, everything just shut down. I couldn't breathe or anything. I was completely fixed in what I saw. And Max hanging by the neck out of a zombie's mouth. Basically, there you go, short story in under 500 words with no mythology. And your challenge for this week is to find a topic of interest to you that we could discuss for the next couple of videos or something. Like, anyway, I'll see where I put go to the report in an hour. So, bye bye.